sure you don't help me cook. Please. Man, I haven't even started and I'm like so wet. Even. Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. This is a nice change of environment since you constantly see me in my room. Today we are here because I've been wanting to bake but plot twist, I do not have an oven. So we're gonna do something that is cake-like today and also Mother's Day is tomorrow so this is Pretty egg. I am going to be doing a mini crepe, and this is what it is supposed to look like. But it's not gonna turn out that way with me, okay? I'm not terrible in the kitchen, but I don't think I'm that good. So we will see by the end of this whether or not I screw it up as badly as I think I am going to in my head. What this is, is for making a crepe, I need a blender. But I don't have like a professional kind of blender. What I do have is like, like my smoothie blender, which I think it might work. We will see, okay? If not everything, I have to mix by hand because I ordered something on Shopee. Uh, the whisk, not whisk, um, the electric hand mixer and it has not come in so my workout today will be using my whisk to mix everything together okay this is what the recipe said that I needed I need all-purpose flour, uh, large eggs, salt and we're gonna be a bit fancy today because I can't find the regular salt so we're gonna use this uh, vanilla extract, condensed milk, unsalted butter, cream cheese, and granulated sugar. I hope that that's it. Okay, no, we also need milk. So, let's start by measuring half a cup, no, one cup of milk. And I will transfer it into this cup. Done! That is one cup of milk. And now I need half a cup of warm water. So now I have that. What else do they need? What else does this recipe require? Um, one cup of milk, half a cup of warm water, four large eggs, four tablespoons of melted butter. Melted butter? Okay, is it melty? How do I take it out? Ow. It's hot. Half a cup of warm water first, okay, got it. One cup of milk. Four large eggs. One, two, three. Oh no! Oh no! I think a shell went in there. That's how it looks like, and I'm pretty sure I dropped an eggshell in there. At melted butter. Do I just stick my cup in and then pour it in? Just do it, right? Okay, so this is... Man, I think I need to like... Level the top. Like, it's looking a little chunky. Right? It's one... And... Two and a pinch of this, because we being fancy today. This is... They work out. If anybody's done like the Daikona coffee, it's something like that. You feel like you're whisking forever. It was looking really chunky before this, but I think it's a lot better now. But you see all those like, oh man, those little bits of flour that did not break down. How do I, what do I do? Whose genius idea was it to put on makeup for a cooking video? Oh yes, it was mine. I switched to the smaller uh, was this whisk just to see if I could get rid of the lumps and I got rid of most of it but there's like four or five left that I'm gonna fish out with a fork and then I'm gonna start getting to the making of the actual midi crepe I mean of the crepe If you wanted to have a look at what it looks like now it's a lot smoother than it was just now I'm going to butter the pan and then get 
of making Millie crepe. Yeah, I mean making the crepe. Damn it! Stop calling that. So I need to make 15, but I've only made two so far. Look at that itty bitty little eggshell. You see it? Oops. Well, it just worked out. And this is my last crepe. So I only managed to make um, 11 crepes instead of 15 because I screwed up the first one and I made it too thick. But I think 11 will do. They look pretty good and they smell really good. And now I'm going to do the filling, which requires more muscle power. I'm gonna need one cup of butter. Ooh, this is way too soft. Oh my god. This is what it is right now. After a lot of whisking and transferring into the blender and transferring back out, this is the consistency. I think with a mixer, it might come out a lot more airy, but my arm can only do so much. So that's what it is. I need to add vanilla extract and then I'm done. It's way too goopy, man. This is how it ended up looking. I'm so scared to shift it in case it falls off, but basically the layers... Oh man, can you see it? Okay, I'll cut like a nicer slice and then I'll show it to you. But my mom said to put some strawberries in it, so I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll just cut it. So... Let's do some tasty looking shots. But I mean tasty isn't like the you know tasty channel. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna just like slice it maybe. Okay, maybe the rest I'll just cut it in half and then I'll just put it on the outsides. By the way, we cut this slice because um, we had some to try this morning in case it was a complete fail and it turned out to not be a complete fail which is why I am going to post this up. I was pretty sure I wasn't going to use any of the footage but maybe, maybe one strawberry, a slice like that and like that and like that and go one round. that like that and then like that in the middle I will put the little flower berries in the middle it actually looks pretty damn good and it smells really good, but I'm inclined to say that anything with cream cheese is good. So, um, let me cut a slice and then you can see the layers when I cut the slice. Be right back. So I don't have a plate in my room, but... Um, in total, I only made 10 layers, so that's 10 layers of cream and 10 layers of crepe. But it turned out pretty nice. advertising something okay anyway um, I will leave the link to this recipe in the description but just take note I did not use an electric mixer I used a blender and my arm 
So that puts a lot more effort into it than you should. But you can try it. Okay, thanks. Thank you.